Hey, good afternoon and welcome back to Paul Sherry Conversion Vans. Justin Smith here. Folks, I am extremely excited about doing this video and you might wonder why. Well, um, spring has sprung, the weather's getting nice, we have some amazing hot deals here at the dealership. We do have a few 2017s left um, that are at amazing prices. As a matter of fact, the lowest prices we've ever had on our remaining seven passengers and the nine passengers off to my left. So. Before we go any further with this video, I've got one favor to ask. I want you to stop the video, <laughs> believe it or not, I want you to stop it and check out our website. So many people watch our YouTube channel don't know how to get to our website. So I wanna make it perfectly clear how you can view all this beautiful inventory that we have with just a couple of easy clicks. Go to www.sherryvans.com. On our website, it's super easy to navigate. Everything is close to 50 pictures and everything is clearly priced. And we do have videos on almost every unit we have in stock. So with that being said, check out our website. Heck, even save it to your favorites. Um, but uh, check out our website at www.sherryvans.com. Now moving forward, what I have back here um, is another thing we're really excited about this spring here at the dealership. I have a Waldock 159 inch wheelbase, nine passenger conversion van behind me. A lot of you are already familiar with Waldock, but for those of you who, who aren't, uh, Waldock has been around for 30 plus years. Um, they're one of the big players in the conversion van industry that is still around. They make an excellent product. We tested them out last year. We carried five or six of them. They worked out really well. Customers are still extremely pleased with the ones that were purchased last year. So from this point moving forward, we are gonna have a huge selection of Waldock vans. This is the first one to show up, but I do have one in every color right behind this, folks. So if you were looking for a different color, I've got it coming. So what is this? Again, 159 inch wheelbase, raised roof, nine passenger, done in this granite pearl coat, uh, one of my favorite colors. And just like the Sherry vans, everything has been painted to match, front fascia, running boards, door handles, etc. And uh, this one's obviously a front wheel drive like our other Pro Masters with uh, first in class turning radius of only 36 feet, uh, 20 plus mile a gallon and 300 horse. So it's not, a, uh, it's not a dog driving this thing at all. So moving down the side, you'll notice that uh, this van has a nice graphics package on it. That's one thing uh, Waldock Vans is known for is their beautiful graphics. Their design team they have there is second to none. So with the graphics, this beautiful paint, it's just a gorgeous package. 17 inch chrome wheels wrapped in Goodyear tires, 5% factory limo tent all the way around the back of the van to ensure your uh, best protection from the sun and also uh, give you uh, plenty of privacy. Now, join me in the back. We'll go over a few things back here. I want to go over some very important uh, safety features that all the ProMasters have to offer. Um, all of our ProMasters here at the dealership do feature a factory backup camera located top dead center. Um, you know how that works. You put it in reverse, you're going to get a color visual on your navigation screen. Now that's a great feature to have, but what makes that feature even better are these right here. Factory backup sensors. So not only are you going to get a visual of what's behind the van, you're going to get an audible alert for some reason if you forget to look when you're in reverse let you know hey there's something back there so hit the brakes capabilities this van is incredible 20 plus mile a gallon and you can tow 5100 pounds with this so you can load nine passengers up hook the boat up head to the lake can't do that in a pickup truck so that's awesome and it does feature a factory class 3 hitch with a seven pin and a four pin wiring setup so you're ready to go right off the bat follow me over here i'm going to show you the sliding door now all of our Pro Masters obviously uh, feature a sliding door. Um, there's a lot of things that are, that are uh, there's a lot of benefit to having a sliding door. I do apologize, I'm a little tongue tied today. Um, but uh, a lot of benefits to having a sliding door. Um, as you can see, it's very easy to open, but look at this entry and exit. I mean, the opening, it's, it's 50 inches wide and it's about five foot five height. Um, going in. So you don't have to duck going into this van. Uh, we have the lowest floor in the industry because we are the only front wheel drive van. No drive shaft going to the back gives us the lowest floor, 21 inches off the ground. This makes it extremely easy to get in and out of the van and also makes, great, um, makes a great van for mobility applications because of the wide space and obviously the lower floor. 
Now, one thing I want to talk about before we get inside this van while I'm talking about the floor, something Waldock does that nobody else does is they build a subfloor um, and put padding on top of that subfloor before they put the carpet in. So every time I walk into one of these vans, it feels like you're walking barefoot on brand new carpet. It's got that real soft, spongy feel. And another thing that's nice about that, because they do put a piece of wood between the metal and the carpet, so you've got metal floor, wood, in, or padding and then carpet it acts as a sound buffer as well so it's going to keep uh, road noise it's going to minimize the road noise in the back of the van very smart on Waldock's behalf well, let's get inside this thing what do you say okay now we're in the, the inside of this Waldock van and everybody's excited to see what's in the back of this van I tell you every time I get in one of these things man it just puts a big smile on my face uh, so cool so cool and very functional but uh, these chairs what we have is a light gray uh, leather interior. Uh, these are a quick release uh, captain's chair. As you can see, they are swivel. Um, they do have the tether hooks uh, for the car seats and the anchor on all the captain's chairs. Um, they are on a quick release pedestal, so all these captain's chairs can be removed very easily. They weigh about 50 pounds, uh, so if you need to, to uh, haul something big, you can remove these chairs no problem. Uh, they will slide forward and back and do feature recline. Seat belts are integrated right in the chair. Uh, it makes it easier for everybody to get buckled up and especially for car seats, that's a great feature to have them in the chair. Um, and obviously being a swivel seat, no matter which direction you might be facing, you're gonna be safe and secure at all times. Now this interior design is a lot different than ours. Uh, I really, really like it. it it's um, very over the top. They use a suede headliner um, up in the top, so good luck trying to keep your kids from writing na their names or whatever up there in the roof. Uh, people always want to do that, but it's got a suede interior uh, with some vinyl trim going down the center, indirect lighting, um, all, all different locations, running down along the wall, and then inside this insert that you see in the middle of the ceiling, it's just a really beautiful look. And with this dark wood grain, the dark grays, um, along with the, the light gray carpet and everything, the contrast is there, it just works really well. Um, overhead storage up here, just like our Sherry vans. Um, so you do have overhead storage all the way around. Um, one thing Waldock does is uh, they do offer a bunch of different stereo options. So this thing has got speakers everywhere. We've got six and a halfs up in the roof, six by nines in the back, six by nines in the doors. There's speakers everywhere in the back of this van. So the sound system is incredible in this van. Um, we do have privacy blinds on all the windows in the back of the van. I have them pulled down as you see. Um, and I think that's about it as far as the interior goes. Now um, I'll get into the electronics. Um, and everybody wants to know how big's the TV. Well, we've got a 32 inch Jensen. 240 hertz LED television here, um, and it is super cool. Watch this. It does feature a power folding, it is a power folding TV. So when not in use, you can get that thing out of the way, um, which is, you know, maybe one of the only complaints about some of the other conversion vans is that the TV kind of makes it hard to get from the front to the back. With this van, no problem. You one touch of the button, you fold it all the way up to the ceiling. So that's a really neat feature. It's the first time I've ever seen anybody do that with such a big TV, so that's awesome. Um, as far as the guts to the media system, we, what we have right here is a Jensen multimedia system. So this is everything. This thing is your stereo, your DVD player, all in one. Uh, extremely easy to use, uh, connect cell phones to it and listen to music through Bluetooth. Um, it does have a CD slot right here that is a DVD player as well. And it's just a really clean look. Um, somebody probably should have thought of this a long time ago instead of having multiple components all over the place all built into one system. So very easy to use um, and, and works extremely well. Now this does have um, a game port uh, right above it. Um, so basically we've got the old RCA's, the 110, and we do have an HDMI that you can't see right here. I'm sure Brian will get footage of that when he gets inside the van. But every chair um, in this van has its own 110 and USB charger. Every chair in the, in the back of this van, which is really, really, really cool. Uh, rear heat and air controls, obviously right here. 
uh, pretty pretty self-explanatory. You got three speeds on the fan, and then your temp your temp guide right here. Um, so that's that's real nice that it's right there. It makes it easy for the passengers to use. Um, lit up cup holders all the way around, and uh, that pretty much wraps up the back of this van. Uh, why don't we jump up into the front? All right, now we're up in the front of this van. Want to go over? Uh, don't, I'm not going to take too much time with this, but just want to go over the basic features. Same nice leather material uh, that we got in the back um, on these chairs. These chairs are eight-way adjustable chairs, including the armrest. You can adjust where it stops. Um, so it's an eight-way adjustable uh, chair with lumbar, factory heat, will slide forward and back. Um, so real nice chairs up in the front of the van. And of course, you would expect this thing to have every, everything all the modern day cars have now these days, and it does. Um, it's got your leather wrapped wheel, cruise control, power windows, power collapsing uh, mirrors on both sides, um, hands-free calling um, that can be all um, used for the buttons right on the steering wheel. So you've got buttons on the left and the right side of the airbag that can allow you to operate your navigation radio, um, answer hand-free phone calls, um, and even give your system voice command. So it's got all the, the goodies you would expect. As far as charging ports go up here, you've got two USBs up in the front of the van um, and one 12 volt DC um, charging port. Uh, the USB on the driver's side is directly wired into the radio. So not only will it charge your device, but it'll connect that device uh, to the radio while it's charging. Um, you do not have to use uh, a, connect, a wired connection. It is Bluetooth. so. You have the ability to go Bluetooth for connection, um, USB, or 3.5 auxiliary input for connection to the front radio. Um, as I mentioned in the back of the van, when we we're talking about the backup camera, uh, this system does, or this van does come with a navigation system. It is Uconnect 5.0 system. Uh, it is a five, five inch screen, does feature, uh, it is a touch screen, uh, does have an AM FM tuner, satellite radio. Um, so it's got all the goodies there. And last but not least, cup holders. Well, um, six cup holders in uh, the front of this van. They didn't want you to get thirsty, I guess. There is overhead storage up here in the front cab, um, right above the visor. So it's a nice little place to put some stuff. Um, and that pretty much wraps up the front, the back, the inside, this whole conversion van. Once again, I'm Justin Smith. I want to thank you guys today for joining us here at Paul Sherry Conversion Vans. And for those of you that are in search of that perfect van that you yet to find, or maybe you just like the videos that we do here at Paul Sherry's, I kindly ask that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and even like us on Facebook. That's going to give you a notification every time we do a new video. Um, anytime we drop any major prices, you're going to be the first to know, and you're not going to miss out on the next great deal here at Paul Sherry's. Thanks again, and have a blessed day.